Well, I want to screw the bottom on and then we'll be ready to run a test. Now I have to do a somewhat dangerous way of hooking it up to the mains. Um, stick the wires, make sure they're well insulated on that end. plug thing is. Make sure it's not have any ways to short. Insulation of the alligator clips all the way down. Get an unused power cord. Clip it on the where the plug is. Kind of right there. And then plug that end into the um, power strip. I turn it on. Here is the uh, moment of truth as far as turning on the thing and everything con is concerned. Hey, that's off. Listen. So far there seems absolutely nothing in the way of it coming to life. Okay. Amps on. Okay, um, I think we need the, um, 
microphone and mine because a microphone has a switch on it I think which starts and stops the machine's motor or something like that. Amplifier is running. What? What? Oh, okay, now it makes sense. Yeah, like epsilon or delta. Yes. That's good. Turn it by hand. How do I get it to come on? Motor won't cut on. To put it on master. Oh, there goes the motor. with their audio here. Not slipping. Oh, the head thing isn't going down. Good. Now we have no audio coming through in this mode. Well, maybe it's a connection. Oh my gosh, yes. The thing is slipping still. That's when it cuts the head up to the top. It has too much hardness. And then tries to make it go back down, it's kind of... Locations empowered by the legislature to make such rules and regulations as are necessary. That's the only problem I'm having right now. It has passed. The timer's working. notice something um it has a remote switch uh whenever you stop it it rewinds just a little bit and then stops it's like a little backspace thing so it will so you know we might some more even on a recording this is the only problem here consisting of uh and clerical staff oh my necessary gosh. to carry on its operation. Okay. Right where you heard it kind of cutting in and out, 
Um, that was earlier in my first part of this video, um, the first part of this series, I was explaining about my Webster Chicago, the one that I gave to uh, John Clark. Um, that was me trying to see if it would record, and that's why I heard those cutting in and out parts. It successfully erased. It did not e record. Of course, it didn't recap it. I don't know um, what uh, John Clark has done with it. It might just be sitting in that um, big old storage building. I don't know. Or maybe he's been working on it. I don't know. John Clark, if you're seeing any of this video series, could you answer this question? That's the only problem I'm having. If I can clear that up, this would be great. Resources available to the board other than finance. 